Curves Robotics to me means friends, it means my community. It's a path towards my future. It's working together towards a common goal. We're all in it to, to grow and learn together. And it ain't really about the championship, it's about what the knowledge you get out of it. kickoff starts off very calm and collected and we're all sitting watching the kickoff and as soon as the game is announced it's just idea after idea after idea we start breaking down the rules figuring out how we want to attack the game it's always uh, exciting when the season starts and I really like the new challenge for this year this year in 2019 the first robotics competition we have a deep space theme in this game, the goal is to either put hatches on a rocket, and then once those hatches are on, it's to load cargo, or like dodgeballs, into these rockets and cargo bay in two minutes. And then the last 30 seconds, they have the option of driving straight up to a level one, climbing to level two, which is about six inches above that, and then climb to a level three, which is 12 inches above that. Building a robot, it's definitely a complicated task. You're gonna need some strategy, and then the robot's gonna need to fulfill that strategy. You start out with the sketch, with some concepts, some ideas, and then you just start going to work. We use a lot of programming to program the robot on how we want it to behave. We have to design special mechanisms to complete the task. And all the little subsystems and subassemblies get created. Everything else is just decoration, anything that you like. Hopefully it drives. It's really every team working together and making sure it works. I had some family members who had participated in FIRST, and after I went to visit this team, I just saw the community and all the opportunities we were supplied with, so I wanted to be part of that. I joined Robotic so I can go more into my engineering field, and through that, I found some of my closest friends. My first day on the robotics team, I made like 20 friends, and they're my, they're my kind of people. So FIRST has created a platform for future employees to recruit students by sponsoring specific teams and getting to know those students. Kids who graduate as FIRST alumni have skills that other kids didn't learn. FIRST Robotics teaches my students a lot of important engineering skills, such as programming, mechanical engineering. I've learned engineering skills and incorporating that into my physics class and robotics class at school. I think it's important for the students to learn these STEM skills because it really increases their confidence. And it really teaches them a lot of those soft skills to be able to be communicate and to work as a team to build a successful robot. Teamwork is vital to the FIRST Robotics experience. Otherwise, you won't go anywhere. Our team happens to be about 32 students. They'll know, oh yeah, we need to go to that particular student because that student knows how to do this. And then they, they use that to their advantage to help move the project forward. In the end, you can see the influences from everyone that has worked on our robot, and that's pretty amazing. So the reason why I choose to be a mentor here is it really allows you to teach those skills that you learn over your career and let another generation behind us learn those skills and just run with it. They let us come to decisions ourselves and really work it out with our peers. Part of the reason that I want to mentor is I'm an engineer by background, I'm in the industry, I see the type of talent that we have out there and the type of talent that we need. So there's kind of a shortage in that area and we'd like to help increase that talent pool. They need people who are there to support them. They need people who are there who believe in them to guide them because they are our future. So that's why I do this. I do it to help inspire them to become scientists, engineers, mathematicians, have them go into STEM careers. I really enjoy helping girls understand what engineering is all about and how fun it can be. And so they get to try out CAD skills and machine shop and programming and things and, and find out what they really like. So when I go to college, I still want to be able to come on my free time and be able to help the younger ones see what they want to do, not just in robotics, but in their future as well. When you get to the competition, it's like, wow. It's a lot of students here, it's a lot of people, it's fancy robots, and then there are robots, you're looking at them like, what are these, Transformers? I'm so proud of 
proud of my team. They have worked extremely hard to get this robot working before build season ended. And we've been practicing and practicing and I think we've been doing an amazing job. My favorite part of being in the competition is to show our skills in robotics. Worlds is gonna be even better and we're gonna make it to Worlds. Now I'm excited to be here and I'm glad I get to be with my friends. This is the first time I've ever been to a state championship and the experience is too breathtaking. The energy is off the charts. This is like a dream come true for our team. We're a fourth year team and it's our first time we qualified for state. At this state championship, since it was our first, I think we did really well, especially from where we came from. Our first event, we weren't even able to climb, so we actually fixed it so we were able to. Everyone's so excited to have made it and so excited to compete and meet new people, new teams, that it's just like a big friendly get together. We get to the final and when we played that first match, we had literally a perfect tie where every tiebreaker value was the same. And in that particular rare case, you have to replay the match. And then we played the next two. We won one and lost one. So we're heading into our fourth match if we won it, it was going to be the best win ever, and if we didn't win it, it was going to be the best loss ever. And it was coming near the end, and it clearly looked like we were ahead and we won it. It was just so exciting for us and the whole team. It's, it's one of those once-in-a-lifetime moments where you really pull it off. The kids will never forget this. will go live with a lifetime. Winning a state championship is hard. After winning the state championship, heading into Worlds, we felt reasonably strong, which is good. Uh, but this is now 400 of the best robots from all over the world. Tens of thousands of people come in here and the energy is unbelievable. So it's a whole different level playing here. Worlds is literally what brought me to Detroit. It's the first time I've ever been here. And I haven't been to many cities, so it's kind of just shocking to like go outside and then you see these gigantic buildings everywhere. Being able to have the World Championship here, it kind of shows us off a little bit and shows everyone what Michigan is actually capable of and all the engineering we have here. Being at the World Championship means the world to us. It means that the work that we put in to make an amazing robot has paid off and we've performed really well. And we've definitely faced some struggles over the past two days. We've had a few malfunctions on our robot, but we were able to diagnose it and fix it before our next match. So that was a pretty big accomplishment for everyone on the team. It's so many kids with so much potential that uh, work on these robots night and day. And to see all of them compete and have let like, all of these other robots from different countries and places have this experience is amazing. I want to say we're doing really well. I mean, the, the event has been phenomenal. Just being here is very exciting for the kids. We just had a chain break. We're replacing the chain. We had a wheel fall off. We're putting that back on. We were still able to drive, so that's good. We were, and we still did our part in our match. So no catastrophic failures. I mean, we're, we're not one of the top team, but every step of the way, we have to do extra work and extra work a little harder than we will usually do. Uh, at the end, we had some difficulty in seat is seven. So seventh out of 68, felt good about that. Uh, then put a really nice alliance together and unfortunately got eliminated in the quarterfinals. And that's, you know, that's what happened. We had robot problems. Sometimes that shows up and that's okay. First Robotics means more than just building robots. It's the journey as to how you inspire people into being involved in STEM fields in general. Most people that are in robotics, they want to be an engineer or they want to do something in the robotics field. So it's a really great way to get experience in the job. You're going to know what you're doing once you get into the field and in college. It's also a lot of fun too. In the future, I'd like to be a game developer. 
I'm definitely looking into an engineering career, potentially biomedical or biotechnology. When I grow up, I want to be an electrical engineer. I hope to pursue mechanical engineering, and I believe that FIRST Robotics really helped me with that. Getting exposure to what kind of opportunities they can get, it empowers them to grab those opportunities. It's really nice to see that DTE and other sponsors have our back. They're seeing people who work for DTE, and they're talking with them, and they're making these connections, and then when they go off to college, they're taking everything they learned to help them in college. We're going to be the future DTE engineers. They're investing in our future, which is investing in their future.